flank and getting all of that information. Now Sentinel's fully on the rotation back, and you still have Dapper, Dapper. on this front line, down to 7 HP. Still somehow healing, it still somehow can damage, taking down Crunchy, but quickly, Sentinels! They have two players over in Yellow Box! Get that plant right in front of that double stack box. Having to go around that wall it causes so much of a delay, but they throw the wall up themselves. Oh. Snake fights straight up towards Shazam over the bridge. He's not going to be able to have much of a fight here, and there's really no counter as Sonics will get the spike down for the first time in this game. Crunchy out and away, not taking up any HP. That's probably the most important part, even with the wall banks. It was still just fine, so it still backs up, but now it's now full control for Sentinels. Ooh. At least the site, they just want to get this spike down, but Bob getting two! You still have Plix playing around yellow box, down to 5 HP, Zombs with a pick, He's got Crunchy has to get it through the box, trying to spam, can't find it, Shazam down to 50! Oh, oh and he gets the def- It's time they might be committing the bodies over towards oh, A, and Shazam. now Sentinels, they already had Shazam early, but it's a 1-2 combo, coming in from Dizzy and Bob, taking down Shazam and Zombs. Now man advantage for Sonics that's already taken away as Tens lines him up, catches two, and still a whole lot more damage to another. Sentinels, at least have two players over towards the back of sight, Ian and Dizzy, trying to make their way away from this dangerous elbow position. Stick taking on some damage, long range with a Phantom, can't get the damage. Instead it's Ian getting the kill onto Tens, and Six Shock Dart takes down Ian. The operator, but Shazam has been so punishing with it, he does miss the shot, he's gotta back away, he will be punished by Plix. Whoa. There you go, Plix just holding W, going through, fighting Zombs and Elbow. But instantly the Viper's Pit, the Domain Expansion goes up, and now Bob at least has full real estate now, but look at the jump on top! Not gonna be able to find anything, instead it has to be Bob to take down Tens, and indeed he does! Man advantage now for Sonic. three players in the back line for Sentinels, and Crunchy even picks up Flicks right in the middle. This Viper's Pit is just taking up so much space, it's so dangerous for Sentinels to even go through! Flicks is gonna take down Sick with the boom bots, and one more remaining, it's Zapper in a 1v4, still has a wall to work with. Wants to put that in front of the okay. wall, quick burst takes down Crunchy, big, big frag! Still has to deal with a player over towards Elbow, and he gets taken down at the fur. I think they're faking it though, Sonic. They're not fully committed. Yeah, as Ian goes down, this might have to be a cancel, but they are. it looks like they're still going to go forward. Wall needs to go up, and Dapper's got a really good angle here, as he's got a boost over on the on the defender spawn yeah. side. They still have the Viper wall that they set up early on in the round. This was their setup. This was their plan early on anyways. They put up the pick. stage wall at least. Dapper through the fence. Couldn't get anything. Plix takes him down. Hunter Fury <gasps> early. Dizzy! Misses out on a clean shot mid. Would have given a two-man advantage back to Sonics. But now Sentinels, not exactly full strength. But they still have the bodies to fight. And through the Viper wall, taking down Plix. This is starting to become disastrous for Sonics, but they still have the chance to at least take it on down. Three players both on sites for Sentinels. Daisy Life and Bob combining for two. Now it's a Zombs in a 1v3. And that side of the site or side of the map. I still want to take up this control. This could be a great fake. All the bodies for Sentinels are around here, except for one Shazam actually takes down Bob over towards B as Tens gets the kill onto Ion. There goes a frag from Dizzy. The spike is coming back to the A site, but this is the jaw of the beast. Sentinels still has the three bodies here, but one of them goes down. Nice pick from Plix. So goes on away, has oh, Tens on the other side of the wall, and he can't go up. He just used one of his satchels. Get this. At this they, point, they're just stuck. Yeah, Bob is gone as well. They real, they are really stuck because that wall is going to be huge because it blocks off Ten's line of sight where they can maybe get the spike down right in front of the double stack again. They really need this wall to break. 35 seconds left. When is Shazam going to maybe start to rotate? They are anticipating maybe this is going to be a cancel. Maybe it's going to be a fake and wrap towards mid left. given the time. But Sonic's... They're waiting patiently. Ooh. The wall breaks and so does Ten's. He goes down, but it's sick back with one. Six still around. <gasps> He's gonna cut him off. Oh, that's a spike is. And yes, he can cut him off instantly! Crunchy doesn't anticipate it! And there goes the route! Now it's a 1v2. Dizzy has missed a couple of pivotal shots, but has a chance for redemption. A fake dash? Has a close angle, and not only that, but he does have the knives. <laughs> And, oh, oh no. no, the recon is gonna tap him twice. Now he's out and away. Only has one more updraft. Dizzy now with the knives. 
Waiting up at least for that take of the spike. Finally, it is going down. Know that there's one close. He's got a peek. Oh, he gets it all to Shazam. Still one more remaining. The knives are still out. Dizzy. No catching on bullets. No. The defuse never goes by. Dizzy oh, wow. plays time. Knowing Sonics, they love to play with the picks. They love to try and get an opening kill at 10. He expected Flix to play that angle. And oh he's going to go for more. Shazam right behind him onto Flix. And then him with a second onto Crunchy. But Dizzy's there for one. Yeah, nice pick from Dizzy. Need to at least cover up the bleeding. Oh. Tenz was looking like he was on a tear. Looking for revenge, too. He lost out on most of his battles. There's no way they're prepared the for Ayan. He is on I mean, such a huge play. He's been here so many times, though, Sully. Sick is going to check this oh. 100 times out of 100. I mean, that's more than anticipated, right? It's the conditioning. Yeah. He's always going to be checking Kitchen after what has been... Plenty, plenty of rounds of Ion making that same rotation. Yeah, I was thinking that maybe he could have gotten the timing in his favor, but no. 2v4. Viper's Pit is online. The thing is, is Dapper and Sick are waiting, and these rotations from both Shazam and Zoms are way too quick. Yup, Viper's ultimate's gonna go up, but the recon bolt keeps them off the spike plant, giving more time for these rotations and to set themselves up for the retake. 30 seconds left. Yeah, well, the Viper's pit. Oh, oh, he's knows. actually outside of it, and now the pit is going to go down, and the Hunter's Fury hangs out dizzy, and Shazam gets the pick. 5-5, five to five, we're tied up again, Sully. Players that have been mostly on a pivot. Shazam coming back too late. Tens in the back line. Crunchy immediately gets the pick onto Tens. Dizzy, nice pick onto Sick. Still two left. up top on Rafters. Might be three in just a little bit, but they have full control of sight. That same wall goes up again. They want to oh. counter it. The wall is going down. Zoms with a pick. Dapper up close. Takes down Crunchy with the wall open and the smoke still down. Dapper's actually going for the defuse. Shazam watching up top. So three for Sonics in the back line. Shazam misses out on the wall thing. No longer being defused. And Dizzy gets the pick up to Zoms. One more player remaining. And it's going to have to come down to Shazam. He knows that there's a gap through. But with only an ob, he just has to go nuts. Bob had that first oh. contact. And Shazam looks away for a split second. Somehow Shazam is still alive, but now he's done. Sonic's once a crunchy can get, or apologies, Plix, what he can find as well. So Revive comes in. Ob is going to get one frag back. Four versus five as Sonic's is way. dizzy again. To just play this really, really late lurk. And he's even brought out the Blade Storm to try and find something. But on the opposite side, the, the Viper Wall is ready to go. But sick, he's alone here. He's got no company as Shazam has to make this rotation. Same thing with the rest of Sentinels. They're down a man early on. They need to try and get a pick back here. Shazam alone, top of tube. All this utility being committed here in Sentinels. It's going to be so difficult. Spike will be committed, but no Shazam. He's up top, but the Spike goes down to the last second. It's a 4v3 with kills going back and forth. Sonic's fine too, and Sentinels are down to just two. It's again Shazam juggling between the guns. Bladestorm ready, and a 3v2. Sonic's have already backed away. Two players by Banana. A big paranoia goes in. Shazam needs an opening, and he's got one, but punished by Bob. It's down to Zoms in the clutch. One versus two to tie things up. He's stuck in the dark cover, but out goes the swing. Hanging out, not exactly going to get anything, and they haven't taken up that back control yet, but it's actually going to be a deeper wall than they're used to. Now Plix on top of Raptors. This is really the only position that they have to look out for. Three bodies looking at that exact same position. Ten takes down Plix. Shazam and Zoms with another one. Tens with a second. Now it's just Dizzy in a 1v5. Catches. Oh, oh no Fix oh. out one and Dapper as a knife. No wall bang, though. The wall does cover up. At least green box. Tens watching the back line. Not going to be able to get anything oh. just yet, but still maintaining it. Takes down Ion. Good trade back from Crunchy, but it's a man down for Sonics. If they do start to converge just a little bit more. We're used to seeing a little bit more flank play, but in this case, oh, they're Zoms. still just maintaining the players around. And there you go. Like you mentioned, Zomst. So looking over towards that mid side could come by in a very quick crunch. And Plix, he gets counted out. The wall is still there. Plix has to get away some way, somehow. Zomst clears the angle. Dizzy with another shot. Oh my, this spike is going down so quickly, and Zoms, he can clean this all up. Takes down Crunchy, still one more on sight. The spike is already dead and gone, and sick, he gets one too. ...are being slowed down, but that shock art just broke literally everything, except for the one swarm. So most of the Utah, the alarm bots, is still waiting at the top of tube, and Ion is still able to get a first kill. Swarm goes out to prevent any late push, and now he's got to be a little bit more worried about... Yellow tube. Nothing yet for Sentinels as they are still spread out across the map looking for at least a trade back to get them going. Bob 
Bob has the pick in oh, mid oh. as he takes down tens. That doesn't happen often. No, no, it's just a pure 1v1. It was Bob with the headshot position, too. And just putting that in perspective, too. Bob, 1v1 against tens, but now the spike going down on the B site, practically on the lonesome, but watch out. They do have a little bit of a lurker, almost going right into kitchen. Yeah. It's none other than sick in that position. Oh, think about where the spike has gone down as well. Sonic should be expecting the majority of these players to be playing in this ultimate area. So it's up to Dizzy to maybe get a trade, but it's iron to punish sick first. A paranoia ready for Zons, but in a 2v5. It's like they're almost anticipating it. They're still checking these angles. That's unreal. Zons now in a 1v4. And Sonics, they wanted to make absolute sure that this B site was empty, that no Sentinels. Sonics with only Bob. Looking out on site. Look how tight this angle is, man. I mean, how on earth could he even get a pick from here? Unless seconds. someone wide swings and does take down Sick, but he's okay. instantly taken back by 10s. 4v4. They do have a revive available, at least for the side of Sonic, so they can get that man advantage. So it's big for Bob to get that first kill, and I think it would be valuable because you have those snake bites, but Ayan, this is the this is the fight that needs to go the way of Sentinels. Ayan, it's an off angle, and he's got a first kill here for the retake, but Shazam needs this trade. Lockdown goes into effect, and this just became so much more difficult for Sentinels. And Ion is sticking around, but look at the wall bangs through. Could it actually take down the wall? There it is! And it does! There you go! Shazam takes down the lockdown, and now Ion needs to fight up Shazam in a 1v1. Now he pops out, 10 goes down, 1v4. Dapper just has to hold down the spike, just has to play time. Ion gets the kill, do they have time? No, no they don't, oh. Sonics! By the skin of their teeth, by a knife's edge. Drop his Nana Storm and you get a wall bait, but no, Dapper's read it. Makes a quick adjustment, second Storm to go down, but Dapper's clear of it. Yeah, some decent damage, but it's certainly not enough to get a kill. Oh, Ian was thinking about it too. He was thinking about that possibility, but now Dizzy, like you mentioned, still sitting around that mid side, knows that there might be a little bit of a flank. And this is just two sitting ducks. Yeah, here's the thing. <laughs> They're just waiting for that interaction. So much Ooh. action happening on the B site. Well, in the meantime, Dizzy was just in a 1v1. Watch there he goes. The Viper's pit is up alongside the wall. And not only that, but a showstopper not going to be able to catch anything. Instead, it's Zapper going down. The Diffuse is still going in. Hunter's Fury going to be able to take down Ion, but still the Diffuse is going to go down on Crunchy. Zoms gets a kill back. And not only that, but Bob went down too. So the Viper's pit goes down, and Zoms and Shazam combined for four Sentinels of a knife. I'm just feeling it, man. Walking up alone sonics 4v5 spike gonna go down a little bit of a spam but i don't think i can find the right connections a bit late on this peak can he win it against sick no punished goes down 5v3 and sonics digging themselves a grave as oh dizzy's committed the blade storm they don't have this for the next round no way he's gonna no have way. to save the up it feels like at least wow that's that's so unfortunate because we mentioned that scenario and dizzy is still going for the blade storm they have to fight this up immediately Sonic's making their way on Shazam instantly with a pick onto Crunchies. You still, oh god, <laughs> I was about to say tens. Could just shut it down off of a wide swing, but still gets that traded back. Standing. It's still such a cool scenario now for the last two players of Sonic's, as now they just want a couple of exits. But the, the economy is all too good, and Plix, he's stuck. He's gonna go down to either the bomb or a player. Look out for the economy too. Would have would have been, I think, one k. If he ended 12 to 10, one more round Sentinels from what a heroic start from Sonics. They look so good, but this is the thing. Again, I said it before, I'll say it again. Sent Contact the one-way orb, and Dizzy wants to try to use it for his own advantage. And indeed, he opens up a huge entry pick for Sonics, but it's already taken back. Dizzy has to fight up a second player in sick, and now all of a sudden, the Uno reverse card has been placed down. Now Sonics are the one down a player. Oh, and look at this commitment from Ayan. He's got the big ult that can maybe win them this round. Sonics have got a lockdown, and they're going to the A site. Sentinels, they could be walking into the lockdown. This is the best case scenario, and you can see Plix is backed away as soon as the lockdown goes in. Oh, he had the showstopper, wait. but Zoms too quick on the trigger. It's crunchy back for one. Crunchy only with a Guardian 2, getting up such a huge pick. But look at the radius now of the lockdown. There's not so good. much space over towards the back of sight. The lockdown simply is not efficient enough to just keep Sentinels away from this site. They can keep the real estate. They can keep this control. And now Sentinels, they are on the prowl for the final few kills. And now it's only Bob in a 1v4. Hunter's Fury in solo use. Shazam all for... Sonics, they just kind of put... All their eggs into one basket. 
even having that set up over towards heaven, so more aiming towards a retake anyways. Sentinels ended up going the other direction, so let's see how they actually treat this one out. Most of the players actually coming in through B main. That's kind of crazy. They make their way out quick, though. Shazam picking up two immediately. Dizzy Light trying to dash on. Does end up taking out Shazam. Now he zomps. Still with another one and still in the back of sight. It's actually a crossfire. Sick right in the middle of smoke. And with one last person remaining, Crunchy needs to go into a one beat. Sentinels, they actually want to fight the rotation early. Shazam might be here to just farm. Same thing with Tens right behind him. Blix still gets a kill. Tens... Does take down Bob, but uh, taken down, not exactly. But it's the paranoia that blinds him and could just be able to get one last one out of this. There you go, stat padding. That, I mean, I, I don't know if this is a sign of what they do for splits or if this is play style, but well, as long as they have a plan in check, as long as they have a contingency plan, potentially they could counteract. But let's see how they even take this on, because now you have a gravity pull over towards ramp. That delays even more time. Shazam on the front line takes down Ion, and Tenzi on a crossfire, taking down Crunchy and Screens. Double in ramp, trying to go down, and it's double for really both teams. Zom's right behind too, taking down Bob. Dapper up front with Tenzi. And this time Ion. With a plethora of Util right by his side. He still needs to get the kills to really make it worth it. But he gets traded out immediately by Sick. And Sick, it's almost a trademark at this point. Immediately picking back up 10s. So now Sonics. Back down to square one. A two-man disadvantage. As there's even a wall in heaven that they have to try to take down. They have no clue who's behind it. What was Dapper doing? Oh, he's grabbing the ult tour. I was so confused. Yes. I was like, Dapper, where are you going, man? <laughs> but Sonics, yeah. it's another retake from one extremity, Gus. And Tens is still around the corner. He tries to fight it out immediately, though, and he somehow, somehow escapes from a mosh pit of Sonic's players. Crunchy? That's crunchy. Okay. Crunch Cloudburst has always been a cue that a grab level was going to be activated, but Zoms doesn't use right. it. He instead replaces it up a little bit higher. And Tens from the swing on elevator almost had a second. Dizzy, or apologies, it's Plix who does evade Tens. And now the trades Whoa, go back. Sentinels out. finally here in a 2v2 as Crunchy comes up huge in Hunter Street from Bob. All right, finally, we have a little bit of a ball game. Sick picking up Dapper, and Crunchy oh. knows that it's over towards bottom mid, and he wants to fight it up immediately, taking down Dapper. Still one player that they have no idea where he is, is Tens. Tens still coming up, and Crunchy's he not going to cancel it. either. He He's completely committed to the B or I'm sorry, to Whoa. the A sites. Wait. Wait, but they have no clue that Bob is here! Bob shuts it down! 40 HP! Or uh, 40 seconds left! What am I saying? I'm slipping up on my words! Tens! He takes your breath away no matter what. Takes down Bob! Now it's down to a 1v1, as again, that TP went all the way back to the A side, but currently just has enough time. Tens! Gets that information, goes for the fake, and Crunchy gets headshot through the wall! Tens knows that he's done for! The TP, don't really know if it even made a sound cue from that position. Tens out with the eye. Crunchy needs a headshot right here, right now. That's the only thing that he can afford. Tens playing ring around the rosy, around the pillar. Crunchy emerges, and that's a second headshot through the walls. They start to abandon. What is this hold of ramp? But Bobby gets completely overwhelmed as the lockdown goes down. Three players emerge from the same position. It's Shazam in the back of sight alongside Tens. It's a meat grinder at Sentinels. They make it look their time, but at least taking up more control than you would expect. They're already up top mid, but they're actually heading into a double crossfire over in heaven. But Shazam takes down both of them solo. Sentinels make their way out now. Now it's Dizzy, essentially in a 1v5. And that's already it. Tens is going to be able to get the spike down. And these last two players for Sonics, I mean, yeah, they're essentially on full loss bonus, but I mean, they, they just have to save up at this point. They're getting crunched up again. Oh, oh sick. Oh, my God. Spray. But that some of them were slick. You still have yet another player. It's actually Dizzy that went on the flank to try to get someone mid, but couldn't find anyone. But instead, him over towards B main. Gets a kill onto Sick. Even man advantage. Blakes out from heaven, takes down Zoms. This could be their chance to finally take, to take back a round in this map. Watch out for Shazam holding it down in heaven, but Blix takes him down. 2v3. It's quiet now, as the last two players remaining are split up between B-Man and Sight. But when you have Tens alive, it's all too tough, isn't it? Dapper with the Odin. Oh, little bit of a fake jump. Bob, Season. he backs on out too, and he still has an Odin in his hands. It's Odin <laughs> the Odin! But oh my word! The pre-fire around the corner. I mean, 
Talk about how unfortunate it is for even Sonics trying to get used to the playstyle of North America. I mean, they're completely new to the scene in general, and they just get thrown into the fire against Sentinels. I mean, you got to adapt to survive. I mean, just imagine the headlines, right? If Sonics is actually able to take back... Well, Browns, I, I'm just thinking metaphorically here. Here comes <laughs> Sentinels, dude. They have two players up in heaven as Sonics barrel their way into the heaven side. Dapper takes down one, but Sick is still finding this one point, Blake, and it's just damn to try to help him out. Well. And the gravity pull is so good. It's so good. Sick takes down two. They wrap him up. I am now in a one. D3 breaks down the wall, but there's two players watching right